Everything's a skill. My character developed uh, South Korean subway map lore and succeeded. Plus, you get a check and learn if you can figure it out. Hi, okay. Sarah. No check and learn for you. Ha ha ha. But it sounds it familiar. It is totally familiar. Mm, yeah, when you said director, that that um, sounded familiar to me as well. So you wallow in your familiarity. So there you go. Mm -hmm. So he's got four dollars of happy fun times left. It's not even enough to buy some drinks at a bar, which is rather sad. Where are the people following you around with bags of gold that you normally have? You wonder. So. Buy me some beer at least. Pardon? Buy you some beer? Buy me some beer at least. I don't have anything to buy. I don't have enough for that. I only got a few dollars left. Jesus. You're inefficient. I'm inefficient. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> How can you argue that? Mm. So, yeah. I'm bored. Let's go somewhere. Where would you like to go? I don't know the city, so. I also don't know it. Yeah, I, I don't know. know. I don't even know what city it is. I asked an, um, a passerby, what city is this? St. Louis, says the guy. and looks at you and he goes, are you from Tombstone? Uh, no, but I'm going to a, a costume party that is taking place there. Cool. Hey. You didn't like my banker suit? That's uh, very nice. My derby yeah, hat? Yeah. Um, uh, great. Yeah. Uh, do you have your own card deck and stuff? Are you like one of those card playing guys? No, no, nothing that oh, fancy. Okay. Right. You get back and uh, there's a coffee for you, Doc. And uh, you see uh, the new guy outside talking to some random dude on the street who seems to have like the headphones around his neck and stuff. And he's looking him up and down because he's dressed like some sort of banker from the old West and Mildred. Oh, and he's got a little bit of coffee on him. Like he's had some sort of accident and uh, the uh, uh, Mildred is looking a mix between give me an empathy roll doc as you know her expressions. Uh, bored uh restless and violent and satisfied yeah that sounds about right <laughs> that's like not a little bit right but somebody got you a coffee so that's that's something where did they get the money is of course a whole another area for concern of you you begin to feel concerned Ah, Doc is Doc is uh, standing in there looking around. It appears the coffee. I sip my coffee. It appears the coffee is being drunk now, so he's moving again. I'm still chatting outside with a stranger. So yeah, let's see. Give me a fast talk roll. Let's see how you're hitting it off with this uh, random dude. All right. Wow. Yeah, he, he thinks you're okay. He's like, well, you know, um, hmm. you know he writes down an email. He's like, let me know next time they get one of those costume parties going. I, I'd be into it. I'll, I'll get some stuff together. Sure, I can do that. And uh, uh, I'll give him a, some, you know, I got his email. I'll tuck it away and uh, ask him what's going on around here. Any, any 
What's the latest news? Well, uh, other than the big news of an entire continent going missing, not a lot's going on. I mean, uh, Japan's still recovering from the tsunamis and earthquakes and stuff that that caused. Uh, but, you know, and the good news, they no longer have a lot of fires. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah. Well, a lot of people are saying that, you know, Australia and Atlantis both begin with an A and they both sunk under the waves. Therefore, it's the same place, but they could be crazy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, I was thinking more of um, how dirty Tokyo is and how much it's clean now after all that water washing. You have a good point there. Yeah, Jesus. That, is that, that's not racist, is it? No, no, fuck it. Uh, yeah, it's what they get for living on the coast and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not yep. racist, but you you brace yourself to hear the most racist shit you've ever heard in your life. He spouts off. <laughs> 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 he, he goes into some details about his opinion on people who live next to water not being as good as Chicagoans who are centered in the middle of the country and shit. Mm -hmm. He completely seems to forget about like the Great Lakes and stuff that are close. Yeah, I was just going to say, what about Lake Michigan? But I wasn't yeah, going to go there. Yeah, he's, he's managed to forget all about that. So, yeah, he, he just prattles at you for a while. You see Doc Fulton is finishing up his coffee and he's looking very, a, a mix of, give me an empathy roll uh, there, uh, uh, Mr. Walls. It's a mix between concerned, thoughtful, angry. Well, well oh. I'm going to say, I rolled the wrong roll. Yeah, it's but still I, good. It's I still good. It yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, he, he, he has the look of a guy who's been stymied so many times that He's just ready to snap. And, you know, mm -hmm. um, pretty much the only joy he's gotten today is torturing Mildred. And that seems to be the only thing really keeping him hanging on. <laughs> well, I'll go back in to the barbershop. The guy goes, see ya. Have a good one. And then he kind of stops and he kind of looks confused. And looks around, like, huh? He shrugs and wanders off. Odd behavior, you think? Yeah. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Take a card. You've been holding that one for a while. <laughs> well, our transportation is now completely unreliable unless we want to go to the zone where you guys will mm. die. Hey, I've already had, I've already had uh, two other players die there. So good stuff. Oh yeah. Really? No. Believe it or not, one of the new guys is the only one who survived because you know he he got he got lucky and clever. Mm. Wow. And I could shadow walk us to Guri, but yeah. I'm not real good at that targeted one. Definitely want to use targeted to avoid the whole floating in outer space because you're close to it. Yeah. Because I mean, if I had a spaceship, oh, yeah. I'd just fly a spaceship, but can't yeah. do that. They took it apart. Mm -hmm. Those are stupid. You're right. I love the spaceship. Hmm. I can pilot a spaceship a little bit, actually. I'm better at spaceship than at the scuba gear. <laughs> Jeff, this, this chapter is called Watching the Adventure Grind to a Halt as the players try to recalibrate. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I think that the shadow walking is the only way.
Some dude comes in and he goes, Doc Fulton! He closes the door, looks around wildly. You don't know who the fuck it is. Give me a memory roll at half, Doc. It just shows like thousands of different faces and you're like cycling through them going, Do I know this fucker? I, I made it. It's uh, you think he might be one of the fucking Dora guys from the Beastkin or some shit, you know? He goes, okay. thank God I found you. I need your help. Okay. There's a hacker. I, I, my job is monitoring here, but there's this hacker guy, right? Yep. And mm -hmm. we, had, we were going to go visit him and get some information and stuff, but he's not answering. And, well, no, that's, I, that's, I'm not going to go with the cover story. You deserve to know the truth. We tracked down this hacker because we think he was working for or with the vampires. We would like to get more information on him and find out what's going on. Don't tell anybody I told you about the vampires. Can you keep both of them? from mentioning it either, because your reputation, you know, we all know you. I don't know them. What, well, what did you say about vampires? Uh, nothing. Can you, here, here's the address. That's all I've got. Uh, plus his, his, uh, his name is, uh, well, his handle is Elite Warrior. Yeah, mm. yeah. He looks a bit disappointed. Clearly a 14-year-old Could kid. be. Could be. Don't know, but he's supposed to be a great computer hacker. He's supposed to have some sort of cutting-edge stuff. Got some sort of corporate hookup or something, bleeding-edge stuff. That's all I've heard. But And it's in modern or here? here. This, this is kind of old-timey, archaic stuff here. He goes, yeah. <laughs> Can I leave this with you? Uh, do you need any any supplies or anything? I can I can if I've got them, you're you're welcome to them. Is this connected to the, what? To the is this connected to the Hellmouth? He goes. Uh, what do you know about the Hellmouth? I know it's here. Good gosh, you're not supposed to know about the Hellmouth. Doc is looking at you oddly, like you've been holding out on him again. Everybody knows about the Hellmouth. <sighs> he looks really shattered. He says, I don't know what you guys know and haven't known. It's ever since Clem chose Clem, howdy, what can I do you for? Went crazy. We haven't been using this. Some of us have been cut off on this side. Others, uh, you know, not. But, so oh, can you fix Clem? He asked Doc as though Doc could go, Bring! Clem is fixed. I'll, I'll Thanks. I, I really appreciate it. It's been a while since I've gotten to see my wife. You know, like. Where's your wife uh, at? She's a beast kid. But I mean, we've still got jobs to do and stuff, but you know, it's been like a month. So, you know, really missing her a lot. Anyway, this is the address. It's in Chicago. Do you have your own transportation? No. I'll go get you some. If you want to do it, you want to wait here, I'll go get it. All right, hey. sure. You might want to bring us the currency for the for here too, because we don't have any money oh. either. He looks at Doc like as though you've suddenly fallen upon hard you're like the great warrior who's suddenly fallen upon hard times type of pitying look. And he goes, Yes, I will get you some of that too. Uh do you have IDs? Is somebody I don't, no. I don't have any ability to make those and stuff, but, you know, if you get pulled over, then, you know, well, okay. what? Nothing. He looks very suspicious and he says, I'll go get the money in the car. I'll be back here in a bit. Uh, how is the helm off? Yeah, like he hurts off. <laughs> You know about the Hellmouth? What the fuck is a Hellmouth? <laughs> I was going to ask. As Mildred pops another little card out of her fucking deck of many things and goes, You're a tree now. <laughs>
There is a hell valve here, apparently. The fuck does that mean? Like, I don't you know, know what that is. Like, uh, something from where all the demons came out. Probably out of the world soon and stuff. So there's demons coming out of this thing? Uh-huh. Demons and weird things. It, it sounds fun. I didn't see it yet. It's, uh, somebody just told me that it's here now. Where he is? Where here is it? They didn't tell me. They just told me it's here somewhere. Oh. Okay. I love it when Doc gets dropped these little fucking nuggets and shit. It's like watching apples hitting somebody as they're passing under an apple tree, just having a nice walk. And a... Well, I start to see a couple of things on the other side of his head starting to... <laughs> Probably. Let me yeah. see. Right. The guy comes back in a beater. Uh, it looks like it's a uh, just just a four door kind of crappy dented up car and stuff. And he come he illegally double parks it in front of Clem's, looks around wildly, dashes in. He goes, "Here, here here's some here's some money." Hmm. He says, "Here's nine hundred fifty dollars. It's all I can scrape together quick." Um, and uh, oh, here's a here's a bag. Just don't ask, okay? Just don't ask. He hands you a bag. It's about this long. It makes a kind of clattering noise, and he hands it to you. And he goes, "Okay." When you come back, I always, I, I'm, I'm always watching the clams. I'm not supposed to tell you where I'm at, but I'm watching the clams. So if you hang out in the clams, then you know I'll see you and shit. But don't get chased into the clems but if you can lose any chasing if you do get chased and then go in the clems and don't leave your vehicle nearby and they won't notice you in the clems because they have problems seeing the clems unless they're chasing you you know about it. okay great he says thank you doc fulton thank you very much for handling this i didn't know what the fuck to do all right he dashes off he comes back he goes here's the keys here's the keys um it, it it's it's uh it's yeah it's not stolen or anything but you know and uh, uh you've got money so you can put more gas in it uh yeah he leaves confused you've got an address in chicago right a car 950 dollars in cash car keys and two people who don't know how to motherfucking scuba dive you're tempted to take them to thailand Push him underwater and say, "Learn." That doesn't work. No, like the no, game of doesn't. life, we got we got nine hundred fifty dollars in a car. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Have you ever played Life, the game of Life, Yana? Life. You get, no. Put your pieces in a little car and move it around okay. the board slowly, and you end up having kids that you don't want and that cost you money and shit. It's great. Yeah. No, that's real. Yeah, that too. So there you go. We don't have. Doc, you feel as though the universe may be trying to distract you away from your problems again. And it's working. Maybe the vampires are connected to the hell mouth. So if we go find the vampires, we can find it find out more about the hell mouth at least. At least it's not underwater. I hope. Well let's go do this right fast for this guy. He was nice enough to okay. give us shit. And now I don't have to steal a car, so when we shadow mm -hmm. walk back we just use the car. Yeah. So we go to this guy's address. No problem. Who's driving the vehicle please? That's a silly, silly question. So Mildred? Right. I fucking drive it right in. <laughs> he he aims for the cop car and just fucking rams into the back. And the worst thing is when the cop tries stopping, he does it again. Like, yeah, get the fuck off my road, you bitch. 
That was a good time to offer him a reroll card. Well, it. does anybody have a reroll card first? Oh, Chris, um, could you tap your microphone? I'm curious to see if it's still. Yeah, it's working. You're just coming in fainter than normal. I don't know why. Oh, I think he moved it when he was uh, eating, so he might want to. Much. Is that better? Apparently, a small kind of adjustment in your microphone makes a big adjustment in your sound. Mm hmm. No rerolls? Nope. Nope. Don't want to ram the cop off the road and fucking pee on him while he's trying to get out of his car. I just fail it. Okay. No problem. Uh, yeah, he, as he's leaving, he fucking scrapes along some random car in the car line. Goes, and you guys are mad. Fortunately, it's already right, Peter. We don't need. Yeah, we didn't need that fender right. anyway. Are you sure he's okay right. driving? You You're thinking he may be drunk or too angry to drive, so it might be a good idea for you too. Yeah, do you want me to drive? I've driven from St. Louis to Chicago before. Okay. Right. He, he pulls over and switches with you. You guys do a little Chinese fire drill, as they used to call it back when in the old days before, you know, Chinese mm -hmm. were trying to actively kill me. Yeah. So. I've done those yep. before. But. Go ahead and give me your... Right. And Mr. Wallace fucking shames himself, his family, for... So are you sticking with that role? Yeah. This thing's a piece of crap. Yeah, it just kind of it kind of lurches into another car and fucking sideswipes it a bit, and the guy is pulling over so he can like exchange insurance information and driver's license and registrations, which you don't have any of these documents. You're pretty much right. That's why I don't stop. I just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The uh, the guy pull, pulls out a small phone thing and begins fucking dialing and stuff. And Doc, you suspect very soon that uh, you may have to sick Mildred on police and shit. Are you wanting to stick with that role before okay. I start rolling other roles? Hmm. Nah, I'll go ahead and try oh, it again. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I'm yeah. happy to have a game of let's run from the cops. I'm totally comfortable with this. I mean, it's just a little sideswipe. It wasn't like he killed the guy. Nah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wallace then drives you from St. Louis to Chicago without any issues, without any like running over children or any of that kind of shit. Mildred, you feel a kind of disappointment. And um, yeah, you guys <laughs> arrive in uh, uh, Chicago. Uh, heading to the address, unless you're wanting to go somewhere else first. The, ex uh, the oh. building itself is an apartment building called Harbor View. There is no harbor anywhere close to it okay this is just the kind of fucking shitty marketing that you uh think of that the uh address itself is at the top of the building on the 15th floor uh the buildings surrounding this one are higher uh there's like a little it's got the address and it's got that shitty elite warrior thing, and it says, beware of vampires on it. Yep, we're at the right place. No, mm -hmm. and yep. on the note, not on the fucking building. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely... Oh, on the no oh, I thought it was on the building. <laughs> the okay. yeah. That'd be pretty fucking good. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. What do you guys want to do? Well, I'm looking at the place going, I hope they have an elevator. I'm too old to be climbing 15 flights of stairs. Hell yeah. yeah. Right. This is also, this is an upscale neighborhood. This is the kind of upscale neighborhood where shenanigans will get police uh, called in pretty quick. This is a nice neighborhood. Okay. So, visible firearms or people dressed badly or blacks will definitely get the police called quickly. America, we are racist as fuck. 
that's our new motto for America. Mm. What, what part of Chicago are we in? North, I'm South? not sure. It's, it's one of, you're not quite on Lakeshore Drive nice, but you're in a nice neighborhood. So I okay. have, I, my knowledge of Chicago is less than yours. I know South Side, it, then you mm. might be the only white people there, whatever. Yeah, that's what I was really no. worried about. They shoot people, but they shoot white people that's there. for the best, I think. <laughs> America. I don't know. I used to go there all the time. Never that's because had you were issue. rolling with a gang. <laughs> anyway, uh, what are you guys going to do? Uh, oh, this is a pretty fancy building. It's not fancy enough to have its own doorman or security guards. Instead, it relies on buzzers where you can push the buzzer and then some asshole goes, who is it? And you go, I'm that guy you've been waiting for. And then they buzz you in. That kind of thing. Uh, I buzzed the buzzer. Of <clears throat> all of them? them. Ah, man, door immediately. Of one of them, what? not all of them. Just I just pick a random one, not the guys. I don't want to. Oh, okay. Uh, you... You buzz and people demand know who you are and stuff like that. Amazon. <laughs> Card for Chris. <laughs> they buzzed you in so fucking quick that it was shocking. Cool. All right. You guys uh, go over to the elevator. There is an elevator. It's at the end of a hallway. And the elevator itself, it looks big enough to hold like maybe eight people, a few more if you don't mind like stacking in. Um, and it's got 15 different buttons. The top button is a lot less worn than the other buttons. Like it's used less frequently than the other buttons. Okay. Somebody lives in the penthouse. Card for the man there. Yeah, take card, Jeff. You want to push any of the buttons or? I'll go to the, like, the, is, the address doesn't have, like, what apartment it number It says 15th anything? floor. And that's yes. the top floor? Mm -hmm. and we're gonna go you to the push the button, the elevator doors close, it fails to demand things from you, which is nice. And you guys get a nice smooth elevator ride up, and eventually it bings and the doors open, and you're in a hallway. Do they have, what? Muzak? Do they have Muzak in the, in the elevator? No, but if they did, it'd definitely be the girl from Ipanema, because that's standard Muzak in all elevators in my world. But it looks like in this hallway, it's it's a fairly it's it's not a super long hallway, but it's like a good 10, 15 strides type hallway, so maybe eight, ten meters. And but just after you come out of the elevator on one side is a big sturdy table. It looks like a kitchen table size, like you know, you get a family around a kitchen table size, but it's up against one of the walls and it's got scratches on it. It's not a super nice table. It looks like it's bought for sturdiness, but the scratches go from one end to the other. Like things have been drug across it for reasons. And then opposite of the table is one of those big fucking mirrors. Looks super heavy and it's in like the big old frame and it's cracked and stuff. Okay. But if you continue on to the very end of the hallway, there's big double doors. You guys have just, unless you're not wanting to step out of the elevator, you have just stepped out of the elevator and the doors go, unless you are like. All right, I'll walk up to the door. When you get up to the door. I stop in front okay. of the mirror. My reflection is there. And then I continue. No problem. Door. Yeah, I was going to say, I want to check my and their reflections to make sure we're all here. <laughs> <laughs> You guys take a card for being extra paranoid. Uh, it, shows, it shows Mildred glance at the mirror. Stranger looks back at her. She goes, and uh, when you guys are getting closer, uh, give me security systems lower roll. 
as you draw closer to the door. Well, Fulton, there's a like a laser tripwire thing about maybe three meters from the door. And there's a small speaker near the door. The doors are the big double doors in case you want to lug in a big furniture and stuff. You don't know if they open inward or outward because they got like the hidden uh, hinges and shit like that. I'll stop. I'll step over. And then continue. And then point it out so they don't just walk through what do you mean are you gonna are you gonna walk uh -huh. through it anyway it's it's far enough away from the door that you're not sure okay and you would you like to oh well i made my role as well so i probably spotted yeah. it as well so i i will definitely okay. step over you guys it. all very carefully step over it um yeah it didn't you're not sure what it's hooked up to, if anything, but yeah. Or if it's even on, couldn't tell. You need hairspray and maybe some dramatic music. I listen at the door. Do I hear anything? Uh, give me a listen roll. You hear absolutely nothing. Give me a smell roll. Yeah, way to use all those senses. Ah, damn. That's really a pity. Maybe they are asleep because. Anybody asleep. else want to? I just figured he was dead. Anybody else want to yeah. try like listening, smell, and stuff like that? Maybe lick the door a bit. Sure, sure. go for it. I'm learning to be yeah. master here, so yeah, I'll do the same He's thing. He's snorting I'll the door like it's got cocaine on it. <laughs> I do listen. You also hear nothing. And you also hear nothing. Everybody has super good hearing. Yana, you smell something odd that reminds you of something that made you happy because it caused somebody else pain, but you can't place it. Mr. Wallace, roll another, just roll a straight percentage for me, and then I'm going to do my guessing because I don't want to reveal what skill it is. That's good enough. Uh, I will send you a PM here. Oh, it just calls you Mr. on the whisper thing. That's funny. There you go. Uh, don't open the door. Oh, and and uh, uh, it... the faint rot of other things, miscellaneous, many things. But it's, it, it smells so good inside. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. I okay. So it, when I'm guessing, when I smell, uh, take a smell, check and take a check on the skill that deals with that. By the way, mm. yeah, I will. Um. But um, when I smell the smell, does it smell like it's gone off or does it smell like it's, no, that's why I thought it is still fresh. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. You may have just uh, done something that other people will be very happy about, perhaps. Yes, yes. I am sure. All right. I'm going to see if I can de determine if it's coming from a section of the door. You're not sure. You're not, you're not, a, you're not a dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Got it. Um, I think the door might be booby trapped. It smells really good. I like it. I want to put it all over my body. <laughs> Guard. <laughs> you guys stand in front of the closed door, looking at it. Hmm. There is absolutely no tells on your side at all. So the skill I get is it smell what I the skill is, or is it just actually it's what, what the, the skill, skill is? is? Plus, you get to check and smell because you'd obviously succeeded in that. Okay, just checking just to make sure I got it right. Okay. 
Yeah, you can't really um, argue with an ought to, Jeff. <laughs> you really, you, you know, yep. that's a great role no matter how yeah. you slice it. Mm. Well, I am going to examine the door as closely as I can and see if I can find any kind of trigger mechanism. Not on your anything. side. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So you're thinking this is sabotaged in some way? Uh, I think so, yes. Um, and I think there's also something rotting inside there. Mm. Snack. She really seems to be getting really frisky about whatever that smell is, that you know what it is, and rotting mixed. This concerns Mr. Wallace on a few levels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I'm not angry. I'm to go. It'd, it'd be like the uh, the uh, uh, main female lead out of Kung Pao, right? Remember that movie, the lady? No, oh, I don't. Well. Then it, then the analogy falls flat. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you want to do? If we want to go inside, I got an idea, oh God. but. Well, why don't we stand to the sides of the hall, and we'll I'll trip the, the, the thing and see if that triggers the uh, the booby trap. If it triggers a booby like, trap, it will probably kill you. Oh, is it like that bad? Plastic explosives? Yes. Oh, there's plastic on that. <laughs> so I'm thinking. Paul looks irritated. Is why don't we go back and grab that table and then bring the table up to it and push the table into the door and see if we can set it off from a little bit of a distance? Give me a demolitions roll, everybody, as you look at the table and then you look at the door with the unknown amount of plastic explosives on it. It'll work. Actually, cool. I was going to look to see if there was, you said there was a giant mirror. Yeah. Right? How big a mirror? Uh, maybe three meters high, five meters long. I was going to look and see if there was, like, if that was a secret door, maybe, or like there's a doorway. So you're going to it. simply walk paranoid. back toward the thing? No other, spe no special way of walking? We know about the... Ah, the okay. One, you like take that. into account the tripwire. Excellent. You go over the tripwire because people in real life constantly do that. They, when they backtrack, they forget about all the traps they found the first time. In real life, I have seen this happen. <laughs> Same trap, I said. And they were like, hey, my foot. And like, hey, you're an idiot. So, yeah, you go back. You check out the mirror. As near as you can tell, it's like really super affixed to the wall. But you kind of like give me a strength roll. That you're you're. It's a bit risky because it's super heavy. You're actually a little worried about getting crushed by it. But you're a fucking brute. You managed to pull part of it off. It looks like there's a wall behind it, but it's one of those kind of mirrors that somebody just fucking set up here and they said, yeah, this would be cool. And then it got cracked, and they're like, it's too big to move, <laughs> and it stays. Okay. Well, I, I thought like maybe this guy, since he's paranoid of vampires, mm. maybe there was like, uh, a, like that. It could it, vampires here. might come in, notice that there's an empty suit of clothes floating about where they are, and freak out and leave. You're you're really not sure. Not quite what I was going for. You see, but the hey, other two are um, still on the other side of the laser tripwire, and you're waiting for one of them to accidentally trip it as they sit there and watch you. Don't make it go boom, guys. <laughs> It's gonna go boom if you don't watch out. What? What? Uh, yeah, I said it's gonna go boom. Okay, if you guys. <laughs> they go yeah. what? <laughs> boom. No good. What? All right. Well, I'm gonna wander back down to the to the mirror with him, and I will make sure I step over the you do so. as well. I'm waiting for somebody just. Failed to tell me that once so I can have you walk through it. It'll make me so happy. I drew it. All right. Also. Okay, you guys carefully go back over and hang out near the mirror. 
You can all see yourselves except for the woman with no name who sees an imposter. Somebody who's not her. Well, you're seeing that young person that whose body. Oh, yeah. She goes, what? Oh, yeah. Hey, fucking hate you. you know? She does these kind of things to mirrors. And you're like, she's got she's got all kinds of levels of evil, dangerous and crazy wrapped into this fucking tight ball that you're thinking it it's like it's like a, one of those gumballs on the outside it, it's candy and on the inside is like arsenic or something maybe mixed with a little cocaine take the edge off and then uh some sort of explosive to let you know that you've bitten into something so then this whole top floor is the penthouse right? seems to be, give me an architecture roll because there's literally no other doors around you're guessing yes but architecture may tell you more it tells you nothing. Sledgehammer. Great. Mm. Um, right. I uh, Give me a luck roll as a sledgehammer comes in your hand. Is it a big one? Is it a small one? Is it, you know, who knows? Big fucking sledgehammer. I start going to work Which on the wall. wall? Exactly. And how far along? Next to the... Like just past the the mirror. Okay, no problem. It's gonna be loud as fuck. <laughs> Give me a brute strength roll. You guys stand there and watch him uh, take out his aggressions for the last couple of days on this fucking wall, and the wall is just fucking too tough for his ass. He's he's gotten some dents in it. He's ripped a couple of small holes. He's exhausted. He's just holding the sledgehammer and glaring at the wall like, why won't you break easier? Did they fucking make this with stone or some bullshit? Now he's looking frustrated again at the wall. I tried the other oh. wall. You're tired. Would you like me to keep it? Great. Do you want... Is, is it made out of drywall or is it made it out of It seems to have some concrete in there. You're not sure who spends this much money on this thing. It's almost like, wait a minute, if it's concrete, which you think it is, that would make this whole hallway, if that's an explosive, that would make this whole hallway a really good kill box. Especially if shit starts bouncing around and shit, then you can get hit with the same piece of shrapnel three, maybe four times. Yay. Something to look forward to. They look at you. You look at them. The tripwire waits patiently for somebody to forget about it. Come on. Do you want me to hack, take a couple hacks to swallow, see if I can get through it? Sure. While you rest? Sure. I grab the old hug hammer and go to Give and me a go great to strength roll. I'll hold, I'll just, you know what? Can I play a card? Maybe. I don't know which card. It's a critical. Right. He just hits it once and part of the wall just collapses and he gives you the, you loosen the jar lid look and it just, you're thinking, holy shit, it's a white big Jim Slade. And uh, yeah, there's a big fucking hole in there. Looks like you've completely bypassed the, the the stuff at the end of the hall, but you have left a gaping hole in here. I full retrieve the crit's critical. Oh, right. critical. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. The smell of decay, sweat, and rotting food slaps you in the face. Not literally, Mildred. Um, there's various exits off of here. What is probably the master bedroom? It looks and smells disgusting a partially open door that goes into a bathroom. There's no clues in the bathroom. I just put it in there because normal people have a bathroom. I didn't want you guys spending an hour trying to figure out what's up. There's also a door with an electronic keypad lock on it and a different closed door. There's big curtains closed over what's presumably a window and the room is pretty dark. The only lighting you're getting is um, from the hallway that you're standing in. There's all kinds of shit to trip over on the floor and stuff as well. 
So do I draw back up to four cards or do I stay at three now? Stay three uh, until you get awarded a card for whatever. That's what I was making mm -hmm. sure I got that right. Oh, okay. Lovely house. Um, I go to the smell. Give me a smelling roll to track like a fucking bloodhound. Yeah, smell you're trying to track like a dog. Unless you just want to walk into the room, then you're kind of in the smell. I'm a fungal goes, again. And she continues smelling, and then she like picks up Doc Fulton's arm and there it is. <laughs> Doc's like. <laughs> I die from <laughs> She gets nuzzling around under your arm. You feel so funky. I didn't know we were this close. <laughs> you said that you didn't really know me, so I thought that you said you know all about you me. You had no idea she was in the underarm things. I was going to say, oh. um, he must know all about you. He knows exactly what kind of aftershave lotion that you like yeah. and everything. Yeah. Ode de Charnel House by Chanel. Okay. Right. Well, so shall we continue? There are light switches and stuff in there if you don't mind using them. Otherwise, you will not be able to see where the fuck. I take up my flashlight. Okay, you can see. The others can see what you choose to see. Otherwise, they don't. Well, if that if there's that kind of like tripwire on the front door, I don't want to risk any other. Take a card. That's good thinking. Uh, let's see. The room itself, as you're shining around, is a complete mess. Empty boxes, electronics, magazines, multitude of cords. Uh, can seen, be seen haphazardly laying around. Uh, there's the big flat screens, which for the year 2000 is pretty fucking expensive, hanging on the wall. One of which has a ceramic plate embedded in it. Like somebody said, this plate make a good frisbee. Whee! And then threw it and it's stuck in the TV. Um, it's also various game consoles and stuff. Uh, one section of the living room has been set up as a, some sort of work area. There's a wooden bench. Um, very much out of place with the rest of the room's decor. Uh, it looks like there's tools and components used in building home electronics as well as some C4 and other things to make IEDs. Hmm. Oh, how lovely. Mm -hmm. um, on the back of the door that you guys are wandering around, um, Chris, give me a spot hidden roll. Lower is better to see if you can see any, like, oh, somebody's made a trip line here type thing. I got flashlight because I remember to bring one. The R2 are just, like, shuffling after you through the accumulated junk. You don't think there's any trip wires, but you wish you had a lot more light. Um, you want me to turn you some lights? Or I could try uh, to pull the curtains open. Go ahead and pull the curtain. Okay. They're they're okay. pretty they're they're not like um um uh battle Berlin type curtains, you know, where it's like we have to keep the light out or Nazis bomb the shit out of us, but they are definitely on the thick side. You pull them open and let in the light. There's window right behind it and such. And let's see, um on the back of the big double doors that you were going to play with before, but decided not to because of just one smell roll, there's two big bags of water that are in like heavy, not like garbage bags, think heavy reinforced rubberized bags that have been attached to the back of the door. And then there's uh, something between them and the door with a bunch of wires and shit leading to them. And there's like batteries and like flashing lights and they're blinking and they're flashing and they're flashing out of sequence and they keep blinking and flashing and don't make a demolition uh, roll uh, to just look at it or do you want to try to disarm it? Oh, disarm sure. It. Demolitions roll. Fulton goes over and he pulls out like some wires and shit and he just looks at you guys like if I fail this, we're all going to die. And he begins. <laughs> I go, no, not that. 
It shows the entire fucking story you're in collapse, and it just shows like stuff squish, squish out of the uh, sides. It shows like people walking around on the street <laughs> getting hit with your guts and such, and they're going, ah, and then fucking rubble falls on them. Oh, okay. I made it. Oh, that's a, probably a good time to spend a hero point, I guess. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. You've disarmed it. Uh, essentially, there's a couple of really large shaped breaching charges that the water was going to use to push the force through the door. And you're thinking, given the size of these breaching charges, if somebody was to like use the table to take cover behind, that the table itself will turn into additional shrapnel for their enjoyment. <laughs> as well as the door and all that kind of stuff so it would not have helped um ding, goes the elevator softly and uh, the kitchen and dining room are completely disgusting uh, are you guys what kind of search are you doing you're not sure you're feeling rather exposed up here the elevator door went bing. I opened to see who's coming. I, uh, it's just the elevator is starting to go down. Ah, I thought like it came up again. Like yeah, that's what I thought. Dude, like, oh, shit. Right. I okay. have some quick search. Quick search, cool. Uh, everybody, give me a spot hidden roll for stuff in the kitchen. Cool. Uh, there's a uh, crumpled up receipts for a place called this. I'll let you try to figure out how to pronounce it. Yes, I'm using actual names again. I suck. Okay. In the master bedroom, it is absolutely disgusting. It's unclean. Bedding and clothing are everywhere. Some furtive insects scuttle away. There's an old looking business card stuck in the corner of a mirror. Uh, the business card itself uh, has this name on it. And on the back it says, thank you so much for moving in. Remember, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me handwritten. Uh, there's also uh, more massive TV screens hanging on the wall. There's a small filing cabinet, a bookshelf, a bathroom, and just FYI, there's still two more rooms to visit. Uh, the filing cabinet looks like that will take some time. The bookshelf, give me an occult roll as your eyes just glance over the titles various books on there they all look occultic ah according yeah. to woman with no name these books are nothing special they could have been bought from any specialist bookstores or the internet or whatever it's like amazon i want spooky occult books Bing, here you go um meanwhile it shows some guy on like the fifth floor with his door open going, hello, Amazon, I'm over here. And his neighbor's like, shut the fuck up. They're not coming. Amazon. And so uh, one of the rooms is the electronic lock room. And in the study, skipping that for now, because you guys are doing a hurry, hurry check, unless you've got your uh, human gore or and gross out maxed out. Give me a sanity roll. Mm. If you have both maxed out, don't worry about it. Oh, Everybody so made it. So Holy shit! It's a D. Uh, it's a D three. I'll give you a nice description here in a second. Yeah, so if you make it, it's a D3. Yeah, suck it up, Chris. Yeah. You can put either in human gore yeah, yeah, or yeah, gross out, max. whichever you'd like. Mr. Wallace is slightly disturbed. You said put either it human down, gore, gross out or either human gore or gross out, your choice, as it is both. 
So you get to choose which one you'd like to dump it into. I recommend trying to max out one. Right. They, they both usually come together, although you can find gross stuff on that zone. But uh, it looks like a young tall guy dressed in dirty pajamas, the kind that have the booty still attached, right? Slumped over his computer desk facing the door. He's wearing some sort of burned headband with a bunch of wires going into it. And then the wires go into a big fucking computer. He's got stuff leaking out of his ears, eyes, nose and, mouth, nose and mouth. Give me biology rolls, please. If the doctor fails this, feel free to taunt him until your throats are raw from the... No, he made it. Okay. Bye. Mr. Wallace doesn't know what biology means. Yeah, I'm an electronic guy. Right, okay. Yana, it's, uh, insects have creeped into him and then begun to shit out this grayish goo. Doc Fulton, it's his brains. They have, they're not supposed to be able to come out those orifices, so something really traumatic happened inside. Uh, there's a lot of weird tech stuff here, USB-type devices that look homemade sticking into things. Also on the desk... Laying on the desk next to the dead guy is a 9mm pistol. Next to that is a fancy case for it. A partially empty box of ammo is also near his hand. The pistol looks like it's brand new. Like, don't clean off the gun oil or anything when you buy it. Just fucking load it and set it down. Done. Um, evidence analysis rolls. Right. Uh, Fulton's like, idiot. And Mr. Wallace is thinking, this is the kind of thing that people who have never owned guns before and don't know anything about guns would do with guns. Uh, mm -hmm. The woman with no name goes, look, a gun. I have always wanted a new gun because to her, guns are disposable like men. And... <laughs> <laughs> Or alcohol empties, sorry. Anyway, the headband itself, uh, it looks homemade. Lots of little metallic pads and stuff on it. And then apply a blowtorch for a few hours. He doesn't have any uh, burns on his skin, though. Uh, the computer's been reduced to slag. And uh, scrawled on a piece of paper uh, in the desk is this note and then you hear a ping from the elevator i will sprint that way yeah i will follow Carefully. all right so you're definitely not in the lead yana they sprint over there and you guys see the elevator doors opening and a couple of hard looking guys getting out. They look like a combination of uh, agents and bodybuilders. They, they, they look forward and then they both kind of swivel their heads and look at the fucking gaping hole in the fucking uh, thing. And they look, and you guys are looking at them and they're looking at you and they go for guns. And we begin your standard combat. Yep. Heroes are first, villains are second. Inflicting damage is approved. Chris, are you okay? You want to get some coffee, buddy? Yeah, I need to refill on my tea, too. Why don't we take a quick break? Quick break we, sounds uh... good. <laughs> 